The world have changed a lot in last 20 years, but there are very few things which didn't change at all. Just like Tom Cruise who is still in action, there is no change in the life of voice calls until Volte was launched recently. It was same old voice call on 2G earlier which continued on 3G without any major change for so many years. Do you know there is a better way to make or receive calls using your normal handset? Yes. Nowadays, you can make crystal clear HD calls on your phone with Volte. This is also called as voice over LT on 4G network. I'm going to explain you technical aspects of voice over LT technology and also tell you how to enable this technology on your handset. LT stands for voice over LT or 4G network. For easy understanding, it's an ordinary voice call which is carried over data network. This works like normal cellular call and charged on the same rate with no extra money required. Since this call is carried over IP network provided by 4G, it also gives a lot of flexibility for mobile operator to enhance voice call experience. For example, if user is using a high-end smartphone, better codecs will be provided which eventually give you HD voice quality and faster call setup time. Let's understand how Volte works. For understanding of Volte, we need to go back into the history where Volte was not launched and there was only 4G network along with 2G, 3G networks working on the ground. As we discussed, 4G came prior to Volte. 4G started getting commercial launched in 2009, while Volte came very late around 2014. Since 4G is an all IP to IP technology and therefore cannot transport circuit switch services such as voice call, you can see in the screen there are so many data packets which are moving between internet and user using 4G network. Let's see how voice works on this scenario. Since 4G cannot carry voice traffic, this is a big problem for everyone. Circuit switch fallback, which is also known as CSIB, helped operators here. While 4G or LT network is used for internet and data connectivity, user is thrown to underlying 3G or 2G network for voice call. Existing 2G, 3G mobile system use circuit switching to carry the voice traffic. Circuit switching or CS is basically a dedicated end-to-end -end channel or a circuit which is established to carry the voice traffic for entire duration of the call. While user is able to use circuit switch for voice services, but there are so many problems with this technology as user need to switch between 4G and 3G network for every voice call. This also requires a lot of battery in the handset and also generates a lot of signaling traffic for mobile operators. This is really bad for network. Now everyone started working on a better solution and they have come up with the Volte as a solution to all of these problems. Now let's understand how Volte works. Volte uses your 4G data connectivity to send data packets for voice calls. Basically, it's like calling someone using internet, uh, just like WhatsApp call, just like Skype call. Volte enables the voice on LT network or 4G network. Let's understand how Volte works. As LT have given us all IP to IP based network, we need to have some technology to carry voice traffic using IP packets over data connections. For this, Volte solution is discovered. We also call this as packet switch network as all traffic goes in a form of stream of IP packets and it doesn't require dedicated or reserved path. Let's understand what all benefit Volte brings to the life of users. The first benefit is better user experience. As user is not running pillar to post between 4G and 3G radios, this improves overall experience of a user and it also brings a lot of relief for mobile operators. The second benefit is the HD calling. As Volte is running on all IP to IP based packet network, this provides opportunity for mobile operators to use bigger pipe and better codecs for carrying high definition voice calls. This gives us crystal clear HD voice calls on Volte which was not possible in old 3G or 2G networks. The third benefit is no drop in background data speeds. Without Volte, user need to switch from 4G network to 2G, 3G networks for voice call which reduces speed of data connection running in background. In few cases such as 2G networks, data stops working while you are on the call. In case of Volte call, since user remains always on 4G, speed of data connection never degrades here, even during voice calls. Another great benefit, faster calling. A Volte network connects call faster than any legacy network. A normal 3G call takes 4 to 6 seconds but Volte call requires less than 1 second to connect. Better battery life. 
Since your phone is not changing the networks between 4G and 3G or 2G for voice calls, user saves couple of amperes and battery life with the Volti. Let's quickly understand the evolution of a mobile technology and the history of Volti. Initially, IMS network, which is the core network providing Volti services, was opposed by various operators due to multiple complexities involved in this. In year 2009, couple of operators and equipment manufacturers such as AT&T, Verizon Wireless, Nokia, Alcatel, Lucent, and so many of them gathered and proposed a solution for IMS-based Volti network. This initiative was also called as One Voice, and the proposed solution was supposed to provide seamless and common solution for voice over IP networks. For the GSMA, which is Global System for Mobile Communication, got attention on this subject, and they started to work towards standardizing this as an official solution for providing next generation voice calls over LTE network along with 3GPP. Finally, we have seen initial working trial of Volti happening in year 2012. Let's quickly run through evolution of mobile technology. You must have seen all these symbols on your handset. I have mapped them as per the name of their technical specification and year of introduction. We can clearly see evolution from 2G to 2.5G to 3G to 3.5G to 4G networks. Let's start with GPRS and Edge first. This is a normal 2G network with minimal support of low data services. This is very very old technology and it will be shuttered across all entire globe in coming years. There are so many operators across the globe who have already shut down their 2G networks now. 3G. This is a 3G network with better data speeds and also provide voice support. H or H plus. This is a super fast 3G network which is still in use. 4G or LTE network. This is the latest technology which is having a bright future. This will play significant role for next five six years until 5G launch happens. Now let's come back to Volti again. Voice over LTE was available to end user in 2014, and Singtel Singapore became the first operator to launch commercial Volti services. With Volti networks, Singtel user were able to make or receive voice calls on 4G network at that time. Now let's understand how to enable Volti on the handset. On left hand side, we can see Android handset, and on right hand side, there is a Apple iPhone. Here we'll cover simple steps which can be used to enable Volti in a handset. Nowadays, most of upcoming smartphones are already supporting Volti. This also depends upon your operator if a particular handset is allowed for Volti or not. I'll run you through the basic simple steps on iPhone. First of all, you need to go to settings. Here you will find mobile data. Now go to mobile data options. Select enable LTE and here we can see three options. Just select second option which is both voice and data enabled. This means both LTE and 4T are enabled. All voice calls will be now handled on 4G radio only. Now let's see similar settings on Android device. Under mobile network settings, first select LTE in the preferred network type, and then select enhanced 4G LTE mode, which is nothing but a Volti switch. You you'll find this option in various other smartphone by the name of. Voice over data or Volti or some basic um, on and off switch for Volti. In few smartphone, Volti cannot be enabled in the setting menu as handset manufacturer have not enabled same. Or you may require a software upgrade to get this setting in the setting menu. However, in such devices, we can use the secret menu. Star hash star hash four six three six hash star hash star to go to hidden settings and enable Volti here. This trick usually works in most of the Android devices. Now let's see what all is required for user in order to use Volti services. Volti is not supported in all the handsets by default. Usually, every mobile operator perform testing of a handset, and then handset manufacturers such as Xiaomi, Apple, Samsung, etc., enables the Volti support in the software build shipped along with the handset. This software build and operator will decide whether Volti will be work for your handset or not. 
Here we are going to cover the mandatory things which are required for Volti to run. On left hand side we can see stuff which needs to be done by mobile operator. On right hand side we can see what all need to be done by the user in order to get the Volti services. Let's start with mobile operator first. The first thing for the mobile operator is good 4G coverage. A good 4G coverage ensures user can make or receive calls fluently. Good coverage will ensure that user will be getting required bandwidth or radio speeds for the entire duration of a call. The second thing is provision of Volti services. Your mobile operator need to activate or provision Volti service in the profile of user which is stored in the HSS. Few operator provision Volti by default for all the users. Other operator provision Volti services on basis of the handset make model used by the user selectively. On right hand side we can see the requirements for user in order to use Volti services. First two are most important thing which belongs to a handset. The handset used should, should support Volti. Also the software or binary which is running on the handset should also support Volti for corresponding mobile operator. This software or firmware build is used to allow or disallow Volti service which is controlled by the handset manufacturer. It, quite, it, it could be possible that uh, the Volti service on a particular handset is available on one of the operator but is not available on another operator. So this is something which is totally totally controlled by the handset manufacturer and on based of the Volti testing which is done between the handset manufacturer and the mobile operator the Volti service is enabled. The third one is the iSIM or USIM which is used by the user. Volti will not work on traditional SIM used in 2G or 3G era. Last one but most critical is the Volti switch in handset where user can enable or disable Volti service himself. Now let's see what all benefit Volti brings to the mobile operator. The first one is the increased spectrum efficiency. Operator have wasted lot of spectrum on older technology such as 2G radio which only is used for voice nowadays. If we can reuse this 2G spectrum and refarm it to LT, by doing this operator will be able to use precious spectrum in a, in a better way. Operator can do this once majority of customer are moved to Volti network which runs both data and voice network. Ultimately better use of spectrum makes better quality in turns which lead to higher subscriber satisfaction and retention. The same amount of spectrum is if used in LT as compared to 2G will give us 2x number of calls on LT and 100% incremental data capacity on LT. The second one is voice is still a business driver. Even in 2018, voice is still accounting for approximate 50% of the total revenues coming for the mobile operator. Providing better voice experience is now a mandatory for all the mobile operator in order to survive. Volti is the best way to cater voice call requirements. Third one is the simplification. With Volti, now both voice and data are riding on the same LT network which means we don't need separate network for voice such as 3G or 2G. This helps in reducing operational cost. The last one is the new service integration. Volti enables faster, quicker integration of new services such as chat, multimedia services to compete with OTT players in a better way. Now let's go through the Volti challenges. Although Volti is a booming technology, there are few challenges which are impacting Volti penetration among the end users. The first one is not all the operators support Volti. Out of total 850 operators across the globe, LT is supported by only 530. And Volti out of this is only launched by 127 operators as per GSMA website. I am expecting this to grow multifold in the coming months. The second one is not all the handset supports Volti. This used to be a bottleneck some years ago. Nowadays, uh, handset, most of the smartphone which are shipped in the market usually supports Volti. Next one is increased complexity. Volti increased complexity multifold as there are many new nodes which generates lot of signaling traffic. Next one is LT coverage is mandatory for Volti services. Volti require good signal strength of 4G to be mandatory available which should provide both outdoor and indoor coverage. No inter-operator connectivity. Even after Volti launch, operator are still connected to each other via traditional non-SIP PSTN networks. The last one is every operator need to test every device. Device is a big mystery for Volti support. There is lot of dependency on device validation prior to launch by every operator. How to handle network congestion? Have you ever thought what will happen to Volti calls if radio is congested? As a general principle, 
डाटा इंटरनेट कैन वेट फॉर सम टाइम बट वॉइस कैन नॉट वॉइस हैज टू बी रियल टाइम वोल्टी टेक्नोलॉजी यूज इज क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस कॉन्सेप्ट यूज इन फोर जी नेटवर्क दिस इज अ क्यू एस और क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस प्रोवाइड्स हाइएस्ट प्रायोरिटी टू द वॉइस ट्रैफिक एंड देर फॉर फैसिलिटेट सुपर हाईवे फॉर वॉइस पैकेट्स पासिंग थ्रू इन ऑर्डर टू गिव हाइएस्ट प्रायोरिटी टू वॉइस इंटरनेट ट्रैफिक इज डी प्रायोरिटाइज एंड इज स्लो डाउन ड्यूरिंग द कंजेशन इन टू द नेटवर्कस नाउ वी हैव कवर द वोल्टी बेसिक्स ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटली हेयर Uh, guys you can check up my another video on volti ims architecture on youtube where i have covered the detailed technical architecture with more granular details but keeping it simple if you want to download this ppt or video please visit my website it's telecomtutorial.info hope this video presentation is useful for you please feel free to like dislike comment and share please subscribe to my youtube channel for more technical videos